If you enjoyed the content of the video, kindly click the like button. Please don't forget to tell your friends. Please share on Telegram, WhatsApp and Facebook groups. In the comments box, please list any prayers you would like to ask for. Please subscribe and click the bell button if you are watching for the first time. By clicking the bell button and subscribing, kindly assist us in expanding our channel. Thank you. To Mother Mary's Protection Family, a very happy morning. I ask our beloved Jesus, Mama Mary and Saint Joseph to bless you all and keep you happy and healthy and bring you all joy today. Today's Catholic Mass readings and reflections, November 18, 2022, Friday of the 33rd week in Ordinary Time. Personal Reflection Is it always my intention to speak the truth in love so that I can transform both myself and others? Or do I harm others and myself by upsetting them, hurting them, and causing destruction. First reading, a reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 10, verses 8 to 11. I, John, heard a voice from heaven speak to me. Then the voice spoke to me and said, Go, take the scroll that lies open in the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went up to the angel and told him to give me the small scroll. He said to me, Take and swallow it. It will turn your stomach sour, but in your mouth it will taste as sweet as honey. I took the small scroll from the angel's hand and swallowed it. In my mouth, it was like sweet honey, but when I had eaten it, my stomach turned sour. Then someone said to me, you must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, tongues and kings. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Response real son, your response, how sweet to my taste is your promise. In the way of your decrees I rejoice as much as in all riches. Your response, how sweet to my taste is your promise. Yes, your decrees are my delight, they are my counsellors. Your response, how sweet to my taste is your promise. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Your response, how sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet to my palate are your promises, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Your response, how sweet to my taste is your promise. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. The joy of my heart, they are. Your response, how sweet to my taste is your promise. I gasp with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. Your response, how sweet to my taste is your promise. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 19 verses 45 to 48. Jesus entered the temple area and proceeded to drive out those who were selling things, saying to them, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. And every day he was teaching in the temple area. 
The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people, meanwhile, were seeking to put him to death. But they could find no way to accomplish their purpose because all the people were hanging on his words. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. Jesus serves as an illustration of a genuine prophet according to the reading from the Gospel for today. He speaks in the capacity of a representative of God and even of God the Son. Jesus enters the temple and starts expelling the traders. Dear friends, this means our Lord does not oppose business. But he is furious and angry for two main things. First, there is business going on near the temple. In a way, this represents the profanation of God's house. Second, Jesus is enraged by the dishonesty of the temple vendors. Dear friends, because God made each of us in his image and likeness, we are each God's temple. Today we need to pause and consider how we are maintaining our own bodies and souls. Are we overflowing with filthy worldly things or attempting to become saints through prayer and hidden sacrifices? Yes, dear friends, as God's messengers, we are called to practice and proclaim truth, love and justice today. Let us love one another as the Mother Mary's protection family, setting an example for everyone. As God, the living God, is truly and fully present in the tabernacle, the Holy Bible and the Holy Eucharist. Let us give him glory, honor and respect. Let us ask God to turn our souls into places of prayer. Prayer. I am grateful to you, Lord of mercy, truth and justice, for bringing to my attention that you are present in both of us and in all of humanity. Thank you, Lord, for opening wide the door of your house and inviting me to step inside with assurance so that I may worship you in spirit and truth. Lord, please help me to approach you in thanksgiving and joy for your great mercy. May I always honor your word and offer you suitable praise and worship. Lord, we pray for all those who have asked for and need our prayers as members of Mother Mary's protection family. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, by clicking the bell button and subscribing, kindly assist us in expanding our channel. Until we meet again in the next video, may our gracious and loving God watch over you and keep you safe from all harm. Amen.